For details, contact Sales and Service on 01159 608 646. Congratulations on purchasing a Bamix. On opening the box, the stand slots together like so and houses the machine. Turn the stand around and you will find a flip compartment for the three blades. The mill sits nicely at the side of this. The machine has two speeds. The top button is the slow speed, 12,000 revolutions per minute, and the bottom button is the high speed, 18,000 revolutions per minute. The first blade is the A blade. As you can see, it has a slight tilt. This blade is for aerating, whipping eggs, milk, cream, etc. The B blade is for beating and blending, hot and cold saucers, batter mixers, anything with a thick and creamy consistency. The final blade is the C blade, which is the most frequently used of the blades. It is for mincing, mashing, pureeing and liquidizing. All of the blades are blunt, therefore they never need sharpening. Always disconnect from the power supply before attaching or removing a blade. To attach, there is a small pin on the shaft of the Bamix and a cutaway on the barrel of each blade. Line the two together and press it on firmly. To remove, simply pull the blade off. If ever a blade becomes loose fitting, just tighten with pliers. This is explained in more detail on page 10 of your Bamix recipe book. Something you may have seen featured in a Bamix demonstration is skimmed milk to the consistency of cream. For this job, use the A-blade, the aerator. Always use a tall container. The Bamix jug is ideal for this. It is very important to remember that you only require a small amount of milk, about 200 to 250 millilitres. 200 millilitres will make approximately 800 millilitres of cream. The milk must be fully skimmed, fresh or UHT, and must also be ice cold. A good idea is to place the milk in a freezer for approximately 20 minutes beforehand. Remember, a tall container and ice cold, fully skimmed milk. Place the Bamix at the bottom of the container and hold for a few seconds on the slow speed top button, then slowly begin to lift, making sure you keep the blade below the level of the liquid. Once the volume is achieved, use the high speed bottom button to thicken using a stirring motion. If it does not thicken, the milk is not cold enough. To clean, place under running hot water, not forgetting to disconnect the power supply. Lots of people use the Bamix cream as a low calorie dessert topping. Sugar or sweetness can be added. You may wish to use drops of vanilla essence. To turn this cream into a virtually fat-free dessert, just add fruit and blend again using the high speed. The colder the milk, the longer it will stand. Ideally, the cream should be served immediately. With tart fruits, honey makes a wonderful sweetener. For mayonnaise, use the bee blade, the blender. A suitable size container is important. The small Bamix beaker is available as an optional extra. Alternatively, a recycled jar will suffice. The ingredients. Firstly, one fresh egg, small or medium. You can use the whole egg or just the egg white. A 
a squirt of lemon juice or lime if you prefer, salt, pepper may also be added, a teaspoon of mustard powder, a dash of white wine vinegar, cider or herb vinegar, and the rest is oil, making it up to approximately half a pint. Vegetable oil is the cheaper option, although sunflower oil, rapeseed oil or a light olive oil makes for better results. This is a basic mayonnaise. You may wish to add other ingredients such as garlic, parsley, parmesan cheese or tomato chutney to transform it into a tasty salad dressing. Now place the machine on the bottom of the container and switch on the high speed. After a few seconds, lift slowly and then blend the remaining oil by using a stirring motion. A thick, creamy mayonnaise made in seconds. It will keep in the fridge for approximately three days. Treat as a fresh egg product. When making soup, I myself like to make large quantities and freeze it. One beauty of the Bamex is that it can be immersed up to the switches in hot or cold liquid. Because of the machine's high speed, you are able to place the Bamex directly inside a pan as the liquid will be drawn into the centre. This is known as a vortex principle. Place the machine into the pan, but do not pull across the bottom as this may scrape or scratch the cookware. Simply turn off when the desired consistency is achieved. Great for sauces and no more lumpy gravy. When making ice cream, a strong container must be used. The Bamix jug is ideal. Any fruit can be added, but it must be frozen. We're using raspberries, but sweeter fruits are obviously nicer. Bananas are great, just chop them into small pieces and freeze. Any milk or cream can be added. Here we are using single cream, but what about yogurt or fromage frais? For a low calorie option, use skimmed milk, or for a naughty treat, use double cream. Add a small amount of liquid to the fruit, again use the sea blade. Do not use force, just tap on the top using the high speed until the fruit purees and blends with the cream. A delicious instant ice cream. For crushing ice, as with ice cream, use the sea blade. Add a little water to the ice cubes or a liquor of your choice if making cocktails.
The mill is easily taken apart for cleaning and can be placed on the top shelf of the dishwasher or washed by hand. To turn granulated sugar into caster sugar, place the required amount inside the mill, which has its own blade, then use the high speed. This only takes a few seconds. Leave it in longer for icing sugar. If using small amounts, shake the mill. The longer